Hi guys, it's me and teacher assistant Summer, ready to begin an awesome Tuesday's class. So once again, I'm going to quickly share my PowerPoint. And on this two slides, just saying Tuesday, April 5th. So our objective, students will be able to review, logging into and uploading portfolio for your PowerPoint guys. Yes, a lot of you have already turned in your actual uh, portfolio, which is awesome. Shout out to those people that have. If you have not, I hope you are looking at the uh, PowerPoint I sent you. So for today, let me make sure I'm sharing my screen again with the new PowerPoint that I just have up here. OK, so for today, we're going through the PowerPoint I actually sent. So you know exactly what's on it and you know what you're looking for. So technical requirements, summary, use Google Chrome. All images must be in JPEG format. And if they are not, I will show you how to um, convert those. Landscape, these are the sizes you're going to go with. Portrait, the sizes you're going to go with. And square images, the sizes you're going to go with. And I'll show you how you can change the sizes in the video as well. So in the first slide that I sent you, you all have this PowerPoint. I go over helpful videos of how to change images to JPEG and how to resize. So all you need to do is click on that link and it will send you to the video that I created. Then this video shows how to resize and format your photos also on Snapseed, or you can also use, and I, to, I actually um, typed in the other website that you can use on the computer if you do not want to download Snapseed. Each one of these are free, guys. Okay, here, all you have to do is click play right here where the arrow is showing, and it's a small video where I show you how you can resize on your computer. Super simple. All right, so as you can see, I'm showing you in that video how to resize with the technical requirements. So look through that video, guys, okay? So then I start with step one, log it into your portfolio account. The link I sent in the PowerPoint as well, you can just click on that link, or you can type in AP2D submissions in Google when you do, you're going to come across to this page. Make sure it says AP Art and Design Digital Submissions. You type in your username and password that you created for my class account, which is AP2D Design, and you will be uh, on your portfolio site, which is this one. So you're looking at your portfolio site. There's this section, two, three, and four, that you are going to focus with. Four is forwarding your portfolio, which a lot of students are already working on. I already have four amazing students that have already for forwarded their portfolio, so I have time to review it, send it back if there needs to be changes, okay? Step three, sustain investigation. On sustain investigation page, you see the number two. You'll see right here, number two, sustain investigation. Remember, you need to have 10 images uploaded in the other spots you're going to put a placeholder which i show you how in this powerpoint as well so the sustain investigation section has two tabs images and written evidence so if you look there is two tabs you for written evidence that's where you will copy and paste your written statement that we worked on in class as well as on teams remember you that was one of your assignments you had to turn that into me do not forget to click save changes there's a little blue tab that says save changes each time you upload an image, each time you write about your materials, your processes, your, the height, the width, you have to press save changes. All right, step four, select it works. Three works required instead of the five to be submitted digitally. Sustain investigations, 10 images required instead of the 15 also submitted digitally. Everything is digital now, nothing's going to be mailed in. What will you need to upload in the empty spots for SI 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15? And selected works number four and number five. So you are going to have to upload placeholders for those works we no longer need to turn in. Where can you find those? There's actually a video in the PowerPoint that I'm showing you that I sent you guys where you click on the video to see how to upload and where to find placeholders, or you can just go to my team's channel, name placeholders for selected work. You are going to have to change them into JPEG um, if they're not changed already, and this video shows you how. After you uploaded the placeholders, you will have to type in NA into each uh, field for all information needed. So only for placeholders, 
you will type in NA for all the information needed. All right, so reminder, do not forget to click save changes to all of the um, updates you're doing or all of the uploads you're doing and materials and process that you're writing. Because if you do don't, if you forget to uh, click save changes, you will lose that work you just did. All right, step five, written evidence. This is where you will copy and paste your written statement. So uh, make sure, remember to click save changes before moving into other parts of your portfolio. All right, step six, click upload file to upload an image to an empty space in the tablet. So this is just already uploading your images from your selected work section. Remember, from your 10 SIs, you can pick your best three artworks and you can upload those. For number four and number five in selected works, you're going to upload placeholders. All right, moving on. You need to confirm that you understand you must submit a physical portfolio of your selected work section, even though it will not happen this year. So you are going to click or check. I understand that my selected works included the printed reading evidence from this page must be shipped to AP program in order for me to receive a score. So you have to click it, even though we will not be submitting this year in order to move on. And these are the instructions from College Board. All right, step seven, forward your portfolio. If everything is green, that means you have completed everything and you're good to forward your portfolio. That means you are good to type in your AP ID number. So on the review portfolio page, you will need to enter your AP ID. If you don't remember your AP ID, don't worry. I have already mes messaged each and every one of you through Teams your AP ID number, okay? Then it's going to take you to this page. This page is basically telling you to check off if you're okay. Um, sorry, no, no, I'm already going ahead. This page is saying, is everything your actual artwork? Are you being um, honest when you're saying that everything you did is your work? You just click, 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 obviously, if you are honest. If you are not, you should not be sending in work that was someone else's artwork, okay? So once you click that you confirm that it is your artwork and you are not lying, then you can go ahead and continue with the forward portfolio and it will send and you will be done, guys. You will come to this page where it says AP2D Portfolio Submissions Exam, June May 9th. So the reason it's June May 9th is so I can have enough time to review everybody's. Remember, guys, I have 80-something students in the class. In order for me to give you review feedback on your portfolio and send it back to you if I need to, that's the only way. But if you still, for some reason, cannot send it to me May 9th, please send me a message and I will click to give you more time. But remember, there's only so much more time I can give, okay? Because we need to make sure that we have the portfolio ready. And once again, I've already um, also added the link to the College Board video. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day for today's exit ticket. Here we go. Make sure to review the logging into and uploading portfolio PowerPoint I sent along with your AP ID number. Now, this is only for those of you that have already forwarded your portfolio. I will be reviewing it. And if there's anything that needs to be changed, I will be forwarding it back to you. If you have not submitted your portfolio yet, there's no way I could forward it back to you because it's not there for me to forward. So once again, shout out to all of those that have already submitted your portfolio. And if you need anything, feel free to message me, guys. All right, have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.